Hello everyone. Um, today we're going to, or I'm going to show you um, just uh, how to um, do a quick driver uh, check for your Intel chipsets. And um, what we are going to do, I actually already installed everything. I'm going to show you what I did. It's really, really simple. You are going to navigate to the Intel website. Let me see if I can zoom in there. If you want to pause the video, that is where you're going to go. And then you're going to go ahead and download their um, driver checker. And it's really quick. It's really easy. You just click download here. It'll take about, mine took less than a minute. So you go ahead. And um, so once you install that, you'll get your, you'll get this here. That's your, you, you, the driver utility setup. You go ahead and run that. And again, this took less than a minute. It goes, you just accept the terms and conditions, and there you go. So it's going to pop this right there, and then we're going to go ahead and launch it. I apologize that it's a little dark um, recording this on my phone. That's the only camera I have with me. So let's see what happens. Go ahead and hit click launch. And yes, of course. I trust Intel. All right, we're going to go ahead and start the scan. And this may take a few minutes. I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch that. So I will pick up the video. Um, oh, that was actually extremely quick. So let's see. We have a, a new updated driver. And... I guess I should have mentioned this. The reason why I was doing this is because when I updated to Windows 10, my FN keys um, doesn't control the brightness of my screen. So if I go ahead and hold that down and press the buttons there, you can see how it's actually not adjusting the brightness. So I figured it was a driver problem and it appears I was correct. So this is a primary, uh, let's see, this is a software update 10.1114. And I'm gonna go ahead and download that. That was very quick. And uh, let me go ahead and save everything in just in case it did, does a, um, just in case it did a restart, went ahead and saved everything. Close out all your files. Actually, I will, I'll leave that up. And get rid of that. And let's let's install it. Now I'm sure this one may not take or be as quick as the last one, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the video and I will pick it right back up uh, immediately after the installation process. Mm. Go ahead and accept the terms and conditions and everything and hit install. All right. All right, it's telling us that we need to restart. So we're going to go ahead and perform a restart on the computer. And I will go ahead and pick up the video right when um, it boots back up. Okay, everyone, we or I just got done installing the new driver. And it did install it successfully. I restarted the computer. And unfortunately, it did not fix my problem. But the good news is I do have um, updated, updated drivers for my chipset. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a new video. And then we're going to, um, in that one, we're going to learn how to update our BIOS. Yay!